Ladies and gentlemen, we are just one month and one day until the start of the 2024 UEFA European Championships. And to get us all into the spirit of things, we have 24 previews to come to the channel. One for each nation coming every day on the weekdays all the way through until the start of the tournament. And I, for one, cannot wait to bring you them. So without further ado, let's go all the way into the top left of your screen to preview our first nation. It's the host. It's Germany. Now, it's been 10 years since Germany won their last crown, since they beat Argentina 1-0 in the final with Mario Goetze scoring the winner. In the two subsequent World Cups, they've been knocked out in the group stage both times. In 2018, they finished bottom of the group containing Sweden, Mexico and South Korea. And in 2022, they finished third behind Japan and Spain. And the filling in between was Euro 2020, where they made it through the group, but were knocked out in the last 16 by England, who obviously went up to the final and lost. In that match when they were 1-0 down, Muller missed a massive opportunity to level up the game and apparently it was British illusionist Yuri Geller that made it happen. He bent the ball wide of the target. In more recent times, they have struggled quite a bit. 2023 was a really, really tough year for Deutschland. They had to change their manager because results were getting really out of hand. In 2023, they suffered poor form, which saw the manager get booted, Hansi Flick, left the role and was replaced by Julian Nagelsmann. Now this next section is going to be called How They Qualified. They're the hosts. That's, that's how they qualified. They're hosting the tournament. Moving on to the coach. The coach is obviously Julian Nagelsmann. We just said that a moment ago. He took over from Hansi Flick last year after a very few concerning results. They lost to Japan, for example. They lost to Poland. They lost to Colombia, all within the space of a few months. And for that, the manager had to go. And in came young Julian, the youngest manager at Euro 2024. But that's not to say he's inexperienced because he's managed Hoffenheim, he's managed Leipzig, he's managed Bayern Munich. And in fact, Bayern Munich were really, really keen to bring him back. Obviously, their manager is leaving in the summer. It looked like Nagelsmann would maybe take back over. But no, he signed a longer extension with the German national team to take him to the end of the 2026 World Cup. In terms of the players, we have the captain of Ilkay Gundogan, who's been around now for a very long time, from his spell with Dortmund to his long period with Manchester City. And now, of course, he's in La Liga with Barcelona and he's a Champions League winner. He's won it. He's won it all. In terms of their star player, though, the player I really like is Jamal Musiala, a fantastic dribble of the ball. He's in, he's out. He's just a sublime talent to watch. And if they can get him firing, get him fit, then he will be my danger man. But in terms of the one to watch, the one that perhaps isn't the biggest name to perhaps your casual audience, and that is Florian Verts. Big football fans will know he has dominated with Leverkusen this season who are going to go and win the league but he's still mostly only known inside Germany a lot of the wider audience hasn't quite found him yet and I tell you what he could be the one that really lights it up for the Mannschaft. In terms of other observations there's a few things to note when it comes to this German team and that is that they have a very experienced core at the heart of it. Obviously we've spoken about Gundogan but they also have Kroos, they have Tostega, Neuer, Müller, Rudiger and Joshua Kimmich all within their ranks. If I was going to pick a concern though it would probably be the lack of a real number nine. They've tried Kai Havertz there, he's obviously been playing there for Arsenal Nagelsmann doesn't look like he's been too blown away by his performances there. Fulkrug has also been trialled, but again, is he really of that required quality? At international tournaments, it's so important to have a good number nine who can get you goals at crucial times, and perhaps that's where they might fall a bit short. In terms of how they line up, they've definitely tinkered a lot, especially since the change of manager to find a system that really suits them. They've tried 4-4-2 and 3-5-2. They even tried putting Kai Havertz at left wing back. But now I think they're settled on a 4-2-3-1. With Musiala and Verts on the wings, they're going to need overlaps from their fullbacks to make it successful, as that is a very narrow attack. In terms of expectations, this can be split into two groups. We have what the fans hope will happen, and what I think will actually happen. And in terms of the German fans, they'll be hoping they can go all the way. I don't think it's beyond the realms of possibility, and they will certainly be dreaming they can make it happen, especially being hosts with a lot of their talent that they have, a very experienced core with some great youngsters too. But for me, I reckon quarterfinals. 
I think they're just lacking a little bit in that striker department. I think perhaps they've not had the preparation time that the other nations have had. They've obviously changed manager. But also they've been only playing friendlies now for about the last year or so. They've not had the qualifiers that the other nations have had. In terms of the odds though, six to one. Six to one and third favorites. A lot of people seeing the fact they're at home as a massive advantage. And obviously we're talking about Germany here. We're talking about one of the best international teams of all time. Won so much, won so many World Cups and European Championships. Of course, they could go and do it again. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, that was one out of 24 done. My word, I have a lot of editing to do. But we will be back, like I say, every weekday, Monday to Friday, up until the tournament starts. And I cannot wait to keep bringing you these previews. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel. I promise you I won't be bombarding you every day to do so. But if you can subscribe and like right at the start of this series to help boost it to the masses, I would be so very appreciative. But for now, I will see you tomorrow.